Hi, my name is Larry Beausoleil. I'm a product manager for OCI. And today we're going to do a unboxing, which you can already see some items out here, of a data transfer appliance. Uh, so we've requested the appliance. And the appliance itself will come in a suitcase like this. And it's very large, has some wheels, and even a nifty handle. With the actual DTA device, data transfer appliance, inside of that case, it's around 65 pounds. From there, we actually pull out this device, which is our DTA device. This is around 40 pounds. Uh, so make sure you're careful with lifting it. Uh, if you do need assistance, grab a friend. Um, inside the box, what you're going to find is a power cord, an extension power cord, or a power cord to go to your specific U UPS uh, device, and then a USB to serial connection. You will also find either a zip tie like this with a serial number on it, or one of these, which is a cable that you push in to this piece here, and this will be for securing this when you send it back to Oracle. Um, with the also along this is a DVD for the uh, drivers for the serial console to use on Windows. Um, and there are other ways to connect via serial uh, depending on what OS you're using. You'll also find instructions for shipping back with a label and some other documentation on what needs to be in the box when you return it, um, what happens when you seal it, and that process. Now let's go over some of the ports that can be found on the back of this device. Uh, we're going to first grab our power cable and plug that in. Making sure that the switch is off before we connect it to actual power uh, and keeping that switch off while we're connecting everything on the back of this unit. Uh, and as we move across this, we're going to see that we have a couple Ethernet ports here. Uh, and then next we have our console port. Go ahead and plug that in, and we can screw this down to make sure it's secure. We have a USB connection to connect to our computer. Uh, and then moving forward, we have an SFP port here, two of them, uh, that we can connect to our network. Uh, depending on your switch will dictate what type of connection you use here. Uh, and that's pretty much all the ports on this device. Once we have everything securely connected, connected into our switch, we can go ahead and turn this on. After we turn this on, we can go ahead and hop over to our laptop, make sure everything's connected, find the IP address of the device, and start transferring our data. Thank you for joining me on unboxing the data transfer appliance.